Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. It's getting a bit more, bit more nervy now in middle of race week. So it's Wednesday lunchtime, lunchtime runtime. With Rob, afternoon Rob. Afternoon. Okay. Well good, thank you. Good, I don't even give Rob, Rob a heads up anymore, I'll just pull the camera out and just start talking. <laughs> he just expects it, I think. Uh, Rob's been in Swansea for the Paris Series event, good weekend? Yeah, really good weekend, really great to see it come to fruition yeah. after all the planning. Yeah. Um, hopefully it'll be a real seminal moment in Paratriathlon. Yes, don't take credit for the devil's work. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's put a lot of work in as well. Um, so, I'm got, I've got a little bit more time in my hands than Rob has. In fact, yes I have. You're four weeks of training to go. Yeah. Is that a two, week a two week taper? Okay. So, so I'm in Italy, if you see him there, say hello. <clears throat> Obviously I'm just winding things down for Cork. So today's run, it's gonna be about 40 minutes-ish with a 10 minute tempo block in the middle. Nothing too crazy. Just running to feel, just keeping the heart rate controlled. It's quite warm, isn't it? But it is I suppose especially for you, it could be quite hot in Italy as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so, yeah. It's actually forecast a heat wave in court this weekend. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway, um, let's get this run done and then I'm determined to get out on the club ride tonight. And then I need to start packing, so I'm not even started. Come on, Rob, let's get it done. Okay, good evening. So that run was okay. The 10 minutes tempo felt easy, felt cruisy. But my heart rate was quite high. I think it's just down to the heat, to be honest. I'm a bit fresh. So tonight I'm heading out on the club ride. Now I know, I always say, I'm not going to go too hard. Ooh, watch out. I'm actually not going to go hard tonight. It's about 32 degrees Celsius. We all know how well I cope in the heat. And I'm racing on Saturday, so I just want to do a couple of hours, zone two tempo, and just have a couple of hours out in the sunshine. I've got loads of packing to do. Got some work still on the TT bike, but I'm trying not to stress about it, to be honest. And I just know that I'm going to have time to do it later on. Or, for, or like a worst case scenario tomorrow morning. I've not actually started packing or anything yet, but it can't be that hard, can it? I'll just take all the clothes I own. <clears throat> um, I'm fully fueling tonight with, <laughs> showing you two bottles you can't see through. Powerade, because that's what's on the course at Cork. I was okay with it the other night, but I just want to check that I can you know, have two bottles of it on the ride tonight and nothing else. On the race day, I'll be taking my own full steam carbon nutrition with me, but the course is quite bumpy and apparently the surface is quite poor in areas. So I'm almost expecting to lose a bottle or at least two bottles. I just want to know that my backup plan to use the on-course nutrition is going to be okay. At the very least, I'll be using this on the run. So yeah, I mean, if it doesn't, if I don't get on with it, at least I know now and I'll know to take extra bottles or if I drop one, I'll have to stop and pick it up. So yeah, anyway, let's um, go meet the guys. I also haven't really spoken about this too much, but I've been suffering a bit of a back issue the last week or so. I've changed my desk arrangement at work. That seems to have improved it. But last night, when I was taking my T-shirt off, you know, just pulling the T-shirt over my head. It sort of went into a spasm and uh, I couldn't really get up. So I just laid down and went to sleep. Woke up this morning and it's loads better. So who knows? It feels okay. I can feel a bit achy tonight, but I'm not going to swing on the bars too much and not do anything silly. Oh, traveling tomorrow morning, so feels like it's getting real. Let's get some pedaling done in the sunshine. Sax, the, the, uh, Sax, the viewers have been missing you from the attack, uh, from the attack, from uh, the decker. <laughs> Just shows your socks, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you like them? I mean, are you sponsored? You I look like you're be. sponsored. I ought to have bought shares. Yeah, I know. <laughs> do they do vegan ones? They do do sausage roll socks, but they're not vegan. Ooh. It's not for me, I'm afraid. I'm a devout vegan. <laughs> I've hung on for 40 minutes, no more. As soon as it starts getting super hilly, I need to back off. It's been on and off intensity wise up to yet. Not crazy, but you know, a few big decent kicks. I know that I'm not good enough to ride flat out tonight and still perform well on Saturday. So I'm just gonna call it there and zone two in tempo at home. Pretty good ride about halfway around. I wish I could be bothered to edit out the parts where I'm saying I'm not going to go too hard tonight. You already know. 
that I did. Uh, it didn't go flat out though to be honest, just pressed on a fair bit. I, I tended to limit it to like sweet spot to threshold on climbs, but didn't have any like big, you know, big efforts. And I felt okay. I do like stretching the legs a few days out from a race. I think it, if I come into a race too fresh, my heart rate just goes crazy and I, 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 I like lose my mind a little bit. Like I think, oh my God, I'm blowing up or something's wrong or something. So carrying a little bit of fatigue, don't, I don't think it's going to affect me too much. <clears throat> I've just walked to the shop to get a sugary drink just to refuel a little bit and I'm gonna have some tea which is a spinach curry of some sort and then I need to get packed it's nine o'clock and um, I've not actually done anything I've got a bit of bike work to do I need to put my spares box on the back and put some spares in there and pedals on other than that it is pretty much ready to go I just need to pack a load of clothes and stuff I think I'm overthinking it I don't think it's actually gonna take very long I just need to make a list and chuck everything in the bag and if I haven't got something there's probably an expo with something for sale isn't there so uh, tomorrow the race day series will start and tomorrow's a travel day it's gonna be quite interesting because we're going in a car with tri -Sci in a van sorry with no air conditioning on a heat wave we know how I cope in the heat if there's anything you think that I should cover this weekend anybody you'd like me to speak to I'm gonna need you to put in you and me in touch with them if so but on particularly on the day of the fall I'm gonna have all day where I'm spectating and supporting so if there's somebody you'd like me to try and speak to and get on camera let me know down below but also maybe drop in my Instagram DM and also maybe tell that person to do that as well because very often I struggle to actually get in touch with these people you want me to speak to not everybody checks their message requests and a lot of people have got me blocked so uh, yeah anyway I'm really looking forward to getting over to Ireland I've never actually been to Ireland before and I've never actually done an Ironman branded 70.3 so two new things this weekend so I'm going to end today's video there I also need to do this video tonight as well oh, man Anyway, so thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below. Looking forward to bringing a race to you this weekend, and I will see you tomorrow at one o'clock for some proper triathlon training.